actually I cannot control. Okay. So that's uh, WB24. WB24, are you successful? What is the meaning of min Allah? From Allah. As in ni'ma min Allah. Ni'ma min Allah. Rahmatun min Allah. Okay? Like that. Huwa Rabbul. You understand? He is the Lord. Okay? Fahuwa Mu'minun. Thus, he is a believer. Okay, very good. Fallahu. Thus, Allah. Fallillahi. Thus, for Allah. Thus, for Allah. Fallillahi. Okay? If I say, Allahi alham, and thus, all the praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, Arabic. Thus, they all are Muslims. Fahum Muslimuna. Excellent, excellent. Fahum Muslimuna. Fahum Muslimuna. Fahum Muslimuna. And we believe. Wa nahnu mu'minuna. Because believe we did not learn it. Believers, okay? It indicates believers because we learn believers, okay? Mu'minun, mu'minuna like that. That's why if we say believer, mu'minuna is okay. Wa nahnu mu'minuna. Okay? And we are believers or and we believe. And I take refuse. Wa a'uzu. Wa a'uzu. Excellent. You did not forget. I told you that it's mixed. Not only from grammar. Not only from surah. Mixed. Wa a'uzu. You all are good people. You all are good people. MashaAllah. You all are good people. Antum salihuna. Antum salihuna. Antum salihuna. Okay? He associate partners to Allah. Huwa mushrikun. Huwa mushrikun or huwa mushrik. Excellent. Now go to page number WB25. Ismuhu. Question number two. Ismuhu. Ismuhu, why only two or three persons answering? Ismuhu, Ismuhu, excellent. Allah Rabbuna wa Rabbuku. Allah is our Rabb and your Rabb. Allah Rabbuna wa Rabbuku. Allah Rabbuna wa Rabbu kum. Yaumu hum. Their, their day. Their day. Today is my day. Next time will be their day. Okay? <laughs> Tell them to be ready. Okay? Al yaumu yaumi. Today is my day. Al ghad. Tomorrow. Yaumu hum. Okay? Farabbuka. That's your Rabb. Excellent. Min Rabbihim. From their Rabb. But if I say, if I change, Man Rabbuhum. Who is their Rabb? Who is their Rabb? Just remember, Man and Min. Man means who. Min means from. Tell me three times. Man means who. Min means from. Man means who, mean means from. Man means who, mean means from. Okay, Allah. This is from Allah. Allah gave me this gift. Okay, Allah. Okay, question number three. Can you kindly check? And they are deal. Look. And they are deal. What? Do you know? Who? Adinuhum, Rabbuhu, Rabbuhum, Dinuhu, Dinuhum, Adinuhum. And he is our Lord. Ahuwa Rabbu Na. Excellent. Ahuwa Rabbu Na. Those who are not catching up quickly, because you know I cannot teach very quickly, you cannot also absorb. Long time. Never be upset. You take the DVD. Okay, you use in computer, cannot use in the car, okay? 
later on. Yeah, because the format is different. I put many files, different files, audio, but if I want to put for car, only the DVD. No, because I get some Word file, PDF file, so you have to have that software also. PDF, Adobe, all these softwares. Okay, so then you can you can check later on, inshallah. Okay. Uh, you are my Rob. Anta Rabbi. Allahumma Anta Rabbi. Sayyid al istighfar How many of you memorize Sayyid al istighfar Ya Allah, don't miss it. Don't miss the chance, easy chances that Allah gave us. Lot of easy chances in the Quran, in the Hadith, Allah Akbar. To be in Jannah, very easy. Allah, Allah taught us very easy way. Prophet ﷺ mentioned, anybody recites Sayyid al-Istighfar in the morning, if he, di he dies in the daytime, he will not be in Jahannam. That means he will be in Jannah. If anybody recites this dua in the evening and then dies in the night time, he will not go to Jahannam. Allah Akbar. How much time will it take to recite Sayyid al-Istighfar? Ya Allah. Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa anta khalaqtani wa ana abduka wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'adika ma istata'atu a'udhu bika min sharri ma sanatu abu'u laka bi ni'matika alayya fa abu'u bi dhambi fa ufiri fa innahu la yawfiru zunuba illa anta less than one minute less than one minute so why you are reluctant why you are lazy why you are i mean just uh, doing this negligence please never 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 do it memorize it make it as your habit also i have to after every salah ya allah prophet sallallahu alaihi mentioned there will be no barrier between jannah and the person who recites ayatul kursi regularly immediately he will go to jannah how meaning that prophet sallallahu alaihi said that barrier will be only the death after you die you will be in jannah what is the meaning meaning that even you will be in cover alam barzakh is true there is no way to go to jannah directly but even in cover your heart will be connected with Jannah. You will start getting little taste of Jannah. You will not suffer from the punishments of a cover. Okay? So, please take these benefits. Ayat al-Kursi, after every Salah. Sayyid al after every morning, Fajr prayer, also after Maghrib prayer. Some ulama said after Asr prayer. Anyway, try to make it your regular habit. Allahumma anta Rabbi. Rabbi, you learned. So from today, enjoy to, try to enjoy the, try to get the taste of this kind of dua. Rabbi, Rabbuna. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasana. Rabbana. Rabbuna is the normal, but Rabbana when you address somebody. When you address somebody, then we say Rabbana. But Rabbuna, Rabbuna Allah, our Lord is Allah. That is on issue. But when you say Rabbana, that is addressing. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana, wa fil akhirati hasana, wa qina adabanna. Rabbana, zalamna anfusana, wa illam tarfil lana, wa tarhamna, lanakunanna minal qasirin. Rabbana, ablana min azwajina, wa zurriyatina. Urrata ayuni wa jalna lil muttaqina imama. Rab, Rab, this word is very favorite, very popular, very like, uh, beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, on hadith, Prophet said that some people make dua, Allah accepts very easily. Some people accept, uh, make dua, Allah doesn't accept. Why? Because Allah loves this sound. Ya Rab, Ya Rab. Now what happens to me, just to encourage you, sometimes I make just this rub, this technique only to make Allah happy. I don't ask for anything. I just say, oh Allah, Prophet said that you love the word Ya Rab, so I just to make, I want to make you happy. Ya Rab, 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 Ya Rab. 
Yeah, Rab. Only to con convince Allah. Oh Allah, you are happy. I am this time, few minutes, I am only putting it for you. Nothing. I am not asking for anything. Ya Rab. Ya Rab. Ya Rab. Ya Rab. That's why even in Salah, Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. Have you ever noticed that Allah did not use any other things to make you closer? Ya Kanabudu. Also, Rabbi Al Azim. Rabbi Al A'la. To make the connection with Allah, direct connection between servant, between you and Allah. You observe? Subhana Rabbi Al A'la. Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. Rabbi If you say, you see, like, I don't know in, in Malay, I don't know how you call your husband or wife. In Bangla, for example, we say, uh, like, um, Jan. I don't know whether anybody understands. Uh, is it from. Jan is like heart, okay? A husband say the wife, Jan, okay? Jan. Heart. Yeah, my heart. The wife say the husband, uh, my, my, my Jan. Jan in, in Bangla, Jan is like heart. When you call Allah, Rabbi, have you, observed, I mean, did you think, have you thought about it before? You are close, you are making very close relationship. Subhana Rabbi al A'la. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Okay? Please, please, please. Sila ingat mana Rabbi. Sila ingat mana Rabbana. Okay? Inshallah. May Allah give us the Your Lord is merciful. Your Lord is merciful. No, no, no. Rabbuka. First one is Rabbuka. Your Lord. One by one. Come to, or come to this sentence. On to one. Your Lord. What is in Arabic? Rabbuka. Your Lord. Okay? Then Rahimun or Rahman. Your Lord is merciful. You can use any word, anyone. Rahman or Rahim, no problem. Your Lord is Rahim. Your Lord, Rabbuka, Rahimun. Rabbuka, Rahmanun. Rabbuka, Rahmanun. Rabbi, Rahim. Rabbi, Ghafoor. Inna Rabbi, La Ghafoorun Shakur. Okay? So, Allah is Ghafoor. Allah is Shakur. Allah is Rahim. Okay? Inshallah. Uh, not Inshallah. Indeed. 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 Confirm. Okay? Okay? We ask for help. Nasta'in. Excellent. Well done. Now we go to chapter 4, page number 13. Uh, okay? Muka surat 13. Okay? Uh, again, I, I enjoy reciting Surah Fatah. Again, we recite Surah Fatah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. Malik yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Please, please, please try to remember whatever I am telling you about Surah Fatiha. Please, please, please remember. You remember all the meaning? Alhamdu. What is the meaning of Alhamdu? All the praises. Rabbun. Lord, Rahim, but continuously merciful. Rahman, intensely merciful. Malik, Master. Yawmun, Yiddin, Iyaka, Na'budu, We worship. Nasta'in, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Now we are going to another chapter, that one is talking about Hidayah. Observe, try to understand, try to think. Allah did not put any other dua. He put about Hidayah. Because if you are guided, you are so lucky. This Hidayah will send you to Jannah. If you are guided, no problem, inshallah, you will be in Jannah. If you are misguided, it's a problem. I tell you just a story, maybe one minute quickly. 
If you are guided, the good point is you can reach your destination quickly. That's why the mukhlis people who, who reach the level, very good level by their iman and amal, they are not afraid of their, their, uh, their mouth, their death. Because they are waiting to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They feel very happy. They feel very happy. That's why even Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you remember? Al-Rafiqul A'la. Al-Rafiqul A'la. Rafiq is the friend. Al-A'la, the highest, the best friend. Then the Sahaba understood. What is the meaning? He's in last khutbah, last uh, khutbah of Hujjat al -Bida. He used the word Rafiqul A'la. Just even before the death also he used a Rafiqul A'la. Then the Sahaba radiallahu anhu understood that he is going to leave us. So, the people who are ready, they don't have any problem. They don't, we are not ready. That's why all the time eh, we suffer from any disease, we are so upset. Okay? Because we are not ready. Be ready to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be ready, then you will not feel unhappy. You will be happy to meet Him. Okay? Because it is different work. I am not telling that you expect that death. I am telling you to prepare so that every any time Allah calls you, you are ready to meet Him. But if you are not ready, you will come. And it, there are a lot of hadith about death. How? When any person is not ready, the malakul mouth comes, they really, really feel very, I mean, very, become very fearful. Because malakul mouth also takes very strange and very dangerous shape, okay, appearance. But the people who are ready, when the malakul mouth comes, they feel, they get a very good, I mean, smells, they get, they see very nice scenery, very good things, they are, in, they are enjoying. That's why if you read the story of the people, Awliya or for example, the true people, Mukhlis people, you will see many people die with a smiling face. Even in Malaysia you can, you can ask those other people, you have a lot of stories. The people who are Amal Saleh, Quentin Amal Saleh, dies like no, no in their face. Dying is like smiling because they are ready. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they observe that Allah is waiting to welcome me. That's why it is different to us, to, us, to the normal people. Okay? So please try to enjoy, try to enjoy the connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hidayah, hidayah, hidayah. Be guided, you will be happy forever. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. And you have to understand the value of ihdina because Allah put it in Surah Fatiha. When Allah put anything in Surah Fatiha, you have to value it. You have to understand the importance of it. Okay? May Allah give us tawfiq to get hidayah. Okay? Because if we are guided, we are lucky. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. What is the meaning of sirat mustaqim? A straight path. In the Quran, different verses. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about Islam, has a sirati mustaqima. This is my, my sirat. And sometimes uh, about the Quran, sometimes. But finally, we take it that exactly following the Islam, following the Quran and Sunnah is sirat mustaqim. If you are not following, then that means you are not in a straight path, on a straight path. That means you are going to suffer. If you are not on a straight path, you will not go to your destination. My friend, uh, on Saudi friend, when I was studying in UI, I started to go to KLI to receive somebody. He was not familiar with the signs, all this, the Malaysian. He came, started in the morning, came back in the evening without his friend, lost, losing all the money for petrol and toll, all this. This is the best example, okay? If you don't know the deal, you recite the Quran and again you commit the sins, you are just, I mean, putting in balance and then you are losing the balance. And then finally you are going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe without an uh, empty account, your account is empty. No, don't do it like that. You have to understand the deen perfectly so that you reach the destination 
following sirat mustaqim. May Allah allow us to follow sirat mustaqim. Say amin. Amin. So take it seriously. Take it seriously. Even if you need to pray a thousand times to convince Allah, pray. Until you convince Allah, pray. Ihdina sirat mustaqim. Ihdina sirat mustaqim. Ihdina sirat mustaqim. Because now we are in Akhiru Zaman. Lot of fitna, interest, zina, drag, 